Every student that we have sponsored has provided huge thanks for the opportunity to do it. It's opened their eyes, it's exposed them to more of the world and more of the conservation type efforts, environmental efforts, research efforts, and in quite a few cases has encouraged the students to go on to post-secondary education and has helped to guide them to a field of study. My name is Teresa Bakey. I'm the Impact and Benefit Agreement Coordinator with New York State Government. With the Voices Bay, we had received some money from Valet, which created the Harvesting Compensation Committee. And that is the body that typically funds students from Nunatsiavut, in particular Nain, to do the Students on Ice Expedition. We think it's important because of the way things are changing, climate change, because they get an education on environmental con and conservation issues, research issues, issues in the north and all over the world. So not only about the north, but it also it exposes them to kids from all over the world. So they tend to get a different view as well of life. I think it's important to have um, youth of different cultures, Indigenous and or others, together. If with Indigenous youth, I think it's, um, regardless of where they're from, whether it be Greenland, Siberia, Russia, or wherever, they tend to realize that despite their different lifestyles, they do have common interests and common issues. Having them join, meet up with youth that are non-Indigenous or from other cultures, it gives them a better appreciation as well for and learning about how other people live, how other cultures deal with things. So I think it's important all around. The students have experienced change in a positive way, leadership roles and things. They've come out of their shells. Some of them have been fairly shy and it's brought them out of themselves. And like I said, it's just, just been such a positive change for each and every one of them.